Hello, what's up Wix Nation? Welcome back to another video here on the Wix Training Academy channel. My name is Sarah Michaels and I will be your hostess here for today's video where I will be showing you um, just some alternate designs that are a little bit more um, elegant and feminine for your funnel and your design and your delivery pages. So if that's something that you're interested in, stick around because we're going to dive into that. And if you have have not yet already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you click the bell so you actually get notified when a new video drops because this is part of the WTF What the Funnel series where we are showing you how to create a pretty and profitable lead generation website here using your Wix website. So um, I know that we have been talking about how to really the strategy and the design and the principles behind how to set this up here on Wix. So whether you are just tuning in here today or you've been kind of tuning in for the whole series, I wanted to show you an alternate design and an alternate, um, as you can see here, just a, a little, some ideas for how you can set up your delivery page just a little bit differently, right? Because sometimes when we think of funnels, it's very, it's very masculine, it's very corporate, it's very like this, but it doesn't always have to be that way. You can absolutely include some of these very, very beautiful design elements that Wix offers and use them on your own Wix website. And Chelsea here does a really fabulous job of that on her site, which is incredible. Um, I just recently met her in one of the mastermind coaching programs that I was taking part in. And when I saw her, all of her beautiful things, I was like, oh my gosh, she would be the perfect example to be able to show you a very feminine looking funnel page. So, um, okay. So first of all, as you can see, when she is sharing her offers, right, she has this link here in her bio. So actually when you click on that, the very smart thing that she did, first of all, is you can see that instead of taking somebody to like a smart bio or um, one of those link tree links, she's actually directing people to a separate page on her website where she's built her own link and bio page. This is a very smart strategy, especially if you are looking to retarget people or to install your pixel and you want to get them that entry level offer after they, you know, that's why when you land on some people's website and then all of a sudden they start following you around the internet, that's, that's why. <laughs> so she has this there, first of all, and she clearly understands where new people are going to be starting with her. So she has a very clear idea of what her entry level offer is. And if you click on this training, that's her free training, um, it says, let's see here, it'll bring you to this page here that looks just like this. So this would be a more elegantly designed sales page that is very simple to recreate on Wix. And I will include the link to this page here so you can check that out if you want, um, just for a little bit of design inspiration. So first of all, as you can see, she has removed the header and she's also removed the footer from this page on her site because it is a landing page, okay? So when so she could drive traffic to just this page and she doesn't have to worry about them clicking around and getting lost because remember, confusion is the number one killer of conversion. So when you're designing some of these funnel and landing pages, you want to have them have a very specific purpose and only one purpose per page if it is a funnel landing page. So first of all, she removed the header and the footer. Secondly, you can see that she added in a strip. Okay, so in the elements section, if you were to go inside of the elements tab, you can see that she has a full width strip that is also a video. 
She's turned the transparency down so that the image has a little bit of a dark overlay. And then she has a custom font, which we showed you in the other video where you can get a custom font, how to upload that. And that way it just kind of pops against that. So that's the first thing that she has on this page. The second thing she has is she's using a strip background with two columns laid over the top. So when you have this, you have one of the columns has a box and on the other column, there is a video. Now her particular design here, she has a button where when you click this, it goes to a pop-up and then you can enter the, your information. You can absolutely do it that way. Or if you want to skip the pop-up aspect, you could always just insert the form, whether you're using your own Wix form, lead capture form, or whether you are embedding the HTML code for a third party email capture, that's what she's doing right there. Now remember, regardless of the, regardless of the, the form that you're using, whether it's native to Wix or whether it is a third party one, you wanna make sure that when somebody clicks the submit button, that it is redirecting them to the next page in your funnel. In this case, that is the delivery page. So you can see that she has the opt-in page here and this right here, she is using another strip which has like the parallax, um, it might be the reveal or just the parallax strip background. That's one of the animations that she's utilizing. So for example, if I were going to add a, um, let's see here. So if I were going to add menus and pages, and I were going to add a page, and let's just say I was gonna do a blank page. Um, what I would do for this page then is I would say opt-in page. And when I was designing this, I would go to the settings and I would click no header and footer. I would go in, I would add a strip. Okay, so this is the first thing I would do. I would add in a video, just like she did here. I would click change the strip background and I would do a color over the top and the color would be dark. Let's see, oh, no, my bad. <laughs> I wanna revert that, sorry, I did the wrong thing there. Um, under the settings, I would go ahead and do the color behind the video and have that be dark and then I would change the transparency, okay? So that's just what she did with the, the video there on the top, as you can see. Then she's also adding in the text so if I was adding in this, I would go ahead, drag that over the top. I would go ahead to the edit text feature. And if I've already uploaded my font, I would go to the upload fonts tab, or let's see if, oh, here it is. My fonts are already uploaded. Okay, so I would say um, page title, and I would go ahead and do this in white. Okay, so that's just what she has there. And as you can see, this would be, um, when you preview it, it will be moving because it's a video, okay? So that's the first thing that she did there. Now, the second thing that she has on that page, as you can see, is she has another strip. And that strip is just a very plain background. So you would go in and add a strip and we'll do a plain background strip. And we would go ahead and drag it down a little bit. Uh, we would go ahead and add the color in there. So let's say that we would just be doing that color. Now, if you ever see a color that you really love on a page, you can always use that color pick eyedropper tool that I mentioned before. You can go to the Chrome market and install that as an extension. It's called the color pick eyedropper tool. And I would then, let's say that I'm like, oh, I love that color. I want to utilize that color. Um, I could then go in and change the strip background color. And I would, and I'm going a little bit fast, but I'm just showing you how this would be when I would, how this would go if I were actually doing the designing of this. Okay, so I would change the color here. And then all I'm doing is I'm just adding that color that I grabbed from that other website. And as you can see, I now have the exact same color that she has featured here on this site. Now, again, as you can see, she's also got a column here. So the column that you would be adding in, so then we'd go in and add in another strip. 
And this strip would be clear, so it would be like this. And we would go ahead and add in a column, okay? So this is where you would add one strip over the top of the other. And this is how you can get some of these features in play. So for example, if I were going to add a box next that I was gonna put text on top of, I would go ahead then and add this container box to this side. And then I could also add in the video, so video and music, let's say if this were like, if I had a video in Vimeo, I would then attach it here or here. And that's how I would be able to work with this, um, the column and the strips, the strip, right? So now this can go up and down and it's got a clear background and it's over the top of this one right here. Okay, so that's kind of what she has done here. As you can see, she's got white. So you could always like mimic somebody else's design and, and really get that idea down and then create it and make it your own with your own colors and all of that. Now, as you can see, she's got another um, a picture element here. So that's a full width strip element. So again, you would just be going in and adding in a strip. And this would be, uh, let's go ahead and add in an image. Or this is beautiful looking, so let's just, it doesn't really, we don't have a theme going on right here, but let's just pretend that maybe this is gonna be <laughs> the theme. I would go to settings, I would turn this dark, and then I would go like this, because then that's where you're going to have that it's gonna be able to pop because the text is gonna be on the top of it, okay? So just pretend that this looks nice and it's, you know, it's, it's different than what we have here. And if you ever want to edit the animations, you are going to be changing the background scroll effects. This is where you have the parallax or the reveal. These are the two most popular ones. They're pretty much, they're very, very similar. So that's where you would see in some of those designs that you can see it's either like this or it's gonna be like, it's gonna stay in place, okay? Okay, so then uh, the next thing that you're doing is you're either adding in the contact form here, or as you can see, she has a, um, she's got a button that goes to the pop-up. So whether you're using a Wix contact form or whether you're using a third party, the next step then is going to this, this delivery page. So as you can see here for her delivery page, again, she's using a very eye-catching video, which I think is just beautiful. Uh, when you go into Wix, by the way, they have so many of their own backgrounds because they have partnered with like Unsplash and the Mix Wix, <laughs> the Wix Media Library. Otherwise, if you are looking for video that you can't find on Wix, you can go to um, Canva. Canva Pro gives you access to thousands and thousands and thousands of videos and it is gonna give you video that you aren't really able to find on other platforms and it's going to be much more affordable than purchasing you know, videos at X amount, especially if you're looking at stock videos. So Canva is a great resource and you can always search for things like, okay, I'm looking for like galaxy pictures or um, things like that. And then you would be able to add that in and find those graphics that are really speaking to your ideal audience and your imagery and your branding, which all of that is coming and being brought into the design and the funnel, which is speaking to your ideal client. Now, as you can see, as you go further on down this page, once somebody has accessed her training, you can see that they now have options and these are her next steps, right? So when we talked about that value ascension ladder, that you are walking people through with your funnel and having that very clear picture of the path that you want your potential customers to take, you're always, once they opt in for something, you're then giving, you know, you're setting that next step in front of them so that they know, okay, this is who you are, this is what you do, this is how I can work with you. What's the next step? What's the next step, right? And as someone goes up that value ladder, you're improving the amount of value that they get. Oftentimes the price point increases and oftentimes the transformation and the results and the one-on-one the -on -one access happens like higher up as they continue to go on. 
So for example, she has a very great understanding, a very clear understanding of exactly what someone is going to do next after they have come into her world. And that would be the next thing that they're going to do is they're probably once they take this training, which I believe is a 20 minute training, and she gives them a workbook. So she's giving them this incredible value away for free. And then after they have that, then they're going to want to take this next step naturally because it's a progression where they're then going to learn, okay, this is how I can, you know, do this. And then beyond this course that she has, which is very entry level, it's $27, that's extremely affordable. Um, then there are other ways to work with her, which include one-on-one -on -one coaching. She has the course or the certification. You can do like one-on-one -on -one consultations with her. You can do like deeper, like more mastermind courses. And those are all going to be more of her high ticket offers. So as you can see on the delivery page, again, um, the really cool thing is that it all flows together and you know exactly the next step that you're going to take. And by using some of these very simple design elements that you can pull in, you, you have access to these on Wix, you can kind of just have a more elegant and a more feminine uh, delivery page all here on Wix. So again, this would be a background. You could find a background like this on Wix. You would just go to something like Canva and type in maybe like a cosmic purple background, and then you would add this to the strip. And then this right here is just as simple as adding two boxes onto the strip, making sure that they are the same size. And that is how you would get these onto that page there, okay? So this is just an overview of more of a feminine design for your funnel. So hopefully those of you who were requesting that, um, Hopefully that this will serve you well and you will be able to take some ideas and just have different ideas on how you could design your delivery and your funnel pages. So thank you so much for tuning in here to this video. If you found it valuable, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying this. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know down below. This is really meant to be an interactive experience. So if you have questions or if you're going through the design process and you you know, you don't understand how to get something or you're stuck on something with your designs, go ahead and let us know down below in the comments. We are using those suggestions to be able to get feedback for future videos and future content. So thank you so much for being with us here today. If you have not yet already, please make sure that you go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell. Go ahead, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.